Well, you know, it's been two months since Ernestine Romero, the popular New Mexican singer, was shot and killed. And she was actually scheduled to play here at the fair at this very time on this very day. Now, the band, they say the state fair reached out to them, said they wanted to do a tribute. They wanted to present her mom and dad with a plaque, and they wanted to carry on in the way that she would have done. Now, I spoke to the band members just before they took the stage. They're playing behind me now, and I talked to them about how they're keeping her memory alive. It's kind of hard, but, you know, she would like us to keep the music going. That's kind of what we want to do. We can just fill her with us here today. Her spirit is so strong, and I think that brings a lot of comfort to us just to be able to share the stage with her in spirit. As you can see, a lot of fun here. A little bittersweet for some of the people that knew and loved Ernestine Romero's music, but her band is up there playing. Her parents are in the crowd, and a lot of her fans are as well. And it is a big crowd, another big crowd that we've seen, as we've seen over the last 10 days at the State Fair. Now, just talking to them about the attendance numbers, they had more than 50,000 people here on the dollar day. They averaged about 500,000, about half a million people every year when they do this 11-day event, and they expect to meet or beat those numbers this year. We'll have more coming up later tonight at 10, but for now reporting at the State Fair, Brendan Evans, KWT Action 7 News.